Have you ever wondered why some people seem to age more gracefully than others? Genetics and lifestyle factors definitely play a role, but there's a hidden element at work called oxidative stress. This hidden factor speeds up the aging process by damaging your cells from the inside out. The good news is that even though oxidative stress feels like it's out of your control, there are things you can do about it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to reduce oxidative stress by making simple diet and lifestyle changes. Plus, there's a test that you can do that measures your genetics and oxidative stress markers and gives you a biological age so you can see where you're at right now. And this will help guide you on how to improve your levels. So what is oxidative stress? Think of it as like rust forming on a car. When the car is new, everything runs smoothly, but if you're exposed to sun, dirt, wind, rain, rust starts to form. And if ignored, it starts to spread and cause damage. Well, oxidative stress is like the rust in your car. Oxidative stress produces free radicals that start to damage your cells. And if left unchecked, can lead to more serious illnesses later in life. It's so not just aging and looking older, but cardiovascular disease, diabetes, neurodegenerative diseases are all connected to oxidative stress. So in this video, I'll show you how to keep your body's rust in check by focusing on diet, lifestyle, and also talk about some key supplements that can help you as well. So what are the symptoms of oxidative stress? Well, there are many and varied, but things like fatigue and feeling tired and drained, brain fog, premature wrinkling and premature aging can be connected to oxidative stress, joint pain and joint inflammation, frequent infections and poor immune function, headaches, migraines, they could be caused by oxidative stress, digestive health, hair loss, weak hair, poor sleep, vision problems, these can all be connected to oxidative stress. So of course these symptoms can be caused by other factors too, but oxidative stress is a main cause of these symptoms and by testing you can help to understand if this is a factor for you or not. Now if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, they can all be caused by oxidative stress. It could be your way, your body's way of telling you this is happening. But here's the thing, these symptoms don't mean there's a serious problem right now, but left unchecked, it can start to lead to more serious problems like diabetes, cardiovascular disease, neurodegenerative problems later on in life. The good news is you don't have to guess whether you have oxidative stress or not. The Vibrant Wellness Oxidative Stress Test goes through detailed genetic markers and oxidative stress markers to show you if you're being affected by oxidative stress now. At the end of the report, it gives you a biological age. But if your oxidative stress age is higher than your biological age, that means you've got some work to do. Later in the video, I'll go through more detailed steps you can do to reduce down your oxidative stress levels and slow down the aging process. So let me show you what the Vibrant Wellness Oxidative Stress Test looks like. The first part of the test looks at genetic markers. And these genes show you whether you're more predisposed to oxidative stress or not. And even if you are, there's things you can do to mitigate those problems. So the first genetic marker is super oxidized dismutase, otherwise known as the SOD genes. And these genes encode enzymes that neutralize superoxide radicals, a common reactive oxygen species. So variants in these genes may impair your antioxidant activity and increasing oxidative stress. Catalase genes. These enzymes break down hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. Variants in these genes can lead to mitochondrial dysfunction, leading to oxidative stress damage and issues with fatigue and those types of symptoms. The glutathione pathway genes. There's many of them. GSS, GPX, GST, and they're critical for the synthesis of glutathione. This is the body's major antioxidant. Mutations in this gene can reduce glutathione levels and elevate oxidative stress. So if you know you have a mutation in the glutathione genes, you can do things like take glutathione as a supplement from time to time, or take N-acetylcysteine, which helps the, is one of the building blocks to help your body make glutathione. Other key antioxidant genes, PRK, AA2, it's involved in cellular energy homeostasis and antioxidant defense, CYP1A1, this is part of the phase one liver detox genes. And there's other genes here that help convert purines into uric acid, a natural antioxidant. So let's look at the Vibrant Wellness Oxidative Stress Markers. The first lot is the lipid peroxidation markers in the Vibrant Wellness Test. And they help to see us how much oxidative stress our body is under. One key marker, MDA, forms when free radicals damage fats, indicating stress linked to things like heart disease. Prostaglandins, there's three different types, 
and they're involved in inflammation. High levels indicates there's significant cellular damage. Lastly, glutathione acts like the cleanup crew. These antioxidants neutralize harmful substances damaging our body. So together, these markers look at how the body is fighting against oxidative stress and potential inflammation. The DNA damage biomarkers. They all have these long, funny names like hydroxydeoxyguanines. And when your body is under oxidative stress, even your DNA, the blueprint of your cells, can get damaged. Free radicals attack DNA in different ways, causing it to break apart, form harmful links, or change its structure. This damage to your DNA can lead to mutations, aging, and even diseases like cancer and heart disease. The protein and oxidation markers. When proteins get damaged like this, it can lead to inflammation and contribute to diseases like heart disease, Alzheimer's, and even affect the immune function. These markers give us important clues about how oxidative stress is affecting the body. It helps us to understand if your cells are dealing with too much damage and whether you need more oxidative stress or identifying what is causing that damage. The nitrative stress biomarkers. This happens when there's too much nitric oxide in the body which can damage cells just like oxidative stress does. This damage can affect your proteins and your DNA, RNA, leading to inflammation diseases. High levels of these advanced glycation end products or ages tell us your body's under more stress. And this is a big factor where diet and especially a diet low in processed sugars can make a big difference. And at the end of the report, you get this oxidative stress damage score. This gives us a clear picture of how much oxidative stress is impacting your body, which can affect how quickly you're aging. This score is based on the markers found in your test. And it shows on this graph here, and you can see whether you're lower than your biological age or higher. So let's look next at the diet and lifestyle things you can do to combat oxidative stress. So the number one thing you can do to combat oxidative stress is eat antioxidant-rich foods. These are all your colorful fruits and vegetables like berries, spinach, red cabbage, green cabbage, all the different colors are rich in polyphenols, which are antioxidants. That's why variety is a key part of your diet. Many people eat the same things. And antioxidant rich foods have been shown to be way more superior than taking antioxidant supplements to combat antioxidative stress. Increasing things like omega-3 fatty acids, Cutting back on, on processed foods and sugars doesn't mean you can never have these things, but they should be treats and not a regular part of your diet. Staying hydrated, not drinking enough water, is a big factor in flushing out toxins and reducing oxidative stress. Exercise regularly. This helps with sweating and processing toxins through the sweat. Saunas can also be helpful there too. Quality sleep is crucial for cellular repair and reducing oxidative stress. Aim for seven to eight hours every night as a minimum. Managing stress itself through meditation, breathing exercises, going for walks. Stress increases cortisol, which can lead to more inflammation and damage to your cells. Avoiding the obvious things like smoking, limiting alcohol and not drinking to excess. Increasing good fiber to help feed the microbiome, which is important for reducing oxidative stress. And using natural skincare products. Don't put toxins on your skin. This goes for men and women, but probably more women. A lot of these makeup products, skin products, they're full of chemicals which can be causing, it gets absorbed through the skin and causes oxidative stress. So while diet, lifestyle, and these things are the most important things, there's three supplements that I recommend that can help you combat oxidative stress. The number one would be glutathione or taking N-acetylcysteine to help your body make more glutathione. This is the master antioxidant. Coenzyme Q10, another key antioxidant, but also important for cellular health and energy and helping with cardiovascular disease. And simple vitamin C. Obviously you can get that from foods, but taking extra vitamin C for some people can be helpful. So now that you know how to combat oxidative stress, how to test for oxidative stress, another key component of oxidative stress is your gut health and reducing your exposure to environmental toxins. These are th two tests that are key to helping understand the source of oxidative stress. Have a look at this next video on the gut zuma, and you'll find out more about how gut health can affect your overall health. I've got links in the description, the gut zuma test, the environmental toxin test, and the oxidative stress profile. Check these out. And if you have more questions, go to the website. You can schedule a consultation and have a look at this next video on the gut zuma test to understand how gut health can affect your overall health.